Everyone, my name is Python GB, and welcome back to the 39th episode of my Python Place Terraria 1.3 series. Today is going to be the day, ladies and gentlemen. We will be attempting the Moon Lords by the end of the episode. And uh, yeah, this is going to be certainly interesting. But to start off the episode, of course, what we are going to do is make ourselves some sort of arena. Now, one of the things I do know about Moon Lord is that he has a big sort of laser attack. So. Basically, what I need to do is make an arena whereby I can sort of take cover from the big laser attacks. So I could just go underneath the sort of blocks and then I can go back out and then just go ahead and pwn the Moon Lord. Uh, so, walls. What do we have? Grass walls, stone walls. Uh, they all seem pretty good, actually. They all seem pretty good. But I think it would be a better idea if I go ahead and make... Some of these. There we go. Obsidian bit cool. Let's just have a few of them. We don't need a great deal of them. Uh, but this is the material we're going to be using to make the arena out of. And of course, the area of which we are going to sort of do this thing in is right here. So this is where we're going to start off doing things, my friends. Oh, man. <laughs> I've got to be honest, I'm genuinely nervous for this because I've never, ever, ever tried to take on the Moon Lord before. So, I mean, if we could do it first time, I would be absolutely amazed. If not, then you know what? It doesn't matter a great deal. But, you know, it'd be kind of cool if we could. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, boom, boom. Uh, I have a bit of an idea as to how I want to tackle this arena. As you can see, we're already doing some things, making some plays like you do. And I'm not going to lie, guys, I have a bit of a tickly throat at the moment. So if you hear me coughing at all, then I do, of course, apologize for that. Because, you know, coughing during recordings, not exactly professional, is it now? So, yeah. All right, boom, boom. Let's carve these out a little bit. There we go. This is going to look amazing, friends. It really is going to look pretty damn cool. So, of course, when it comes to him doing his laser attack, we can just seek shelter under here or something. And then, obviously, on top, what we're going to do is we are going to put ourselves some uh, some campfires and whatnots. So, that will be cool. Maybe we can put some heart lanterns inside of there. And uh, let's just fill that up. Okay, and then obviously in between, what we're going to do is put some platforms because I think that would be a cool idea. Right. Okay, so, uh, what do we need? We have ourselves obsidian stuff, dynasty stuff. Uh, what have we got on our furniture chest? Do we have a great deal of stuff? Bewitching table, that might actually be useful. I'll take some of that. Uh, campfires, yes, absolutely. Uh, okay, do we have any hearts? We do indeed have some hearts. Fandabidozy. Alright, where's our generic chest? Uh, so we've got a bit of that. Uh, where's our ingots chest? There we go. And we should be able to make ourselves a bunch of heart lanterns. Uh, even more than that, actually. Uh... Do, do. I mean, we shouldn't need a great deal of them. Maybe three at the very most. Okay, cool. Uh, let's get some regular wood out because obviously that's what we need to make campfires with. Okay, so two of them. And uh, yeah, we should be able to get this thing going. Oh yeah, that's right. I was going to make some platforms as well. Uh, what can we make platforms out of? Do we have an ice machine? I don't even think we have an ice machine on this world. Or do we? I don't know. I could be blind, guys. I could be blind, although I have no idea. Right, okay, let's uh, get pearl wood out. Do I have any more pearl wood? Eh, only a little bit, but you know what? It'll do the job. Uh, pearl wood. There we go. 59, so I guess we can space the things out 30 blocks apart. That would be a pretty cool idea. Okay, so 30 blocks will take us down to 29. Okay. So, there. Okay, cool. Uh, right, how many blocks is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, man. Oh, man. I've got to tell you, man. <laughs> like I said, I'm genuinely nervous for this, but if we can do it, I'm going to be really, really surprised and also really, really happy on myself. Yeah. Really, really happy. Okay. Boom. Boom. I mean, you get the general gist of the design that I'm going for here, so uh, I guess... All is good. I feel like I've measured this up incorrectly. I feel like I actually may have messed this up a bit. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. We need to bring it out another block. There we go. Cool. Alright, sweet. So, I tell you what, guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and carry on getting on with this arena. And I'll bring you guys back, hopefully, once we're done, very shortly. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. We have ourselves an arena gun. We've got banners all over the place. We've got these pillars with uh, with these here obsidian type, was it obsidian demonite blocks or whatever the hell they are. And obviously we've got some uh, crimtain blocks as well at the top, just for a little bit of added color, I guess. And uh, yeah, we've got a combination of uh, the good old fashioned heart lanterns. We've got the campfires. We have a bewitching table up here for extra minions. So that is pretty cool. I don't know if that's a big enough arena to take down Moon Lord in all honesty. So, I mean, we'll obviously we'll take a look at that when the time comes. But uh, yeah, I actually had to contend with a, uh, a blood moon on the night that just passed. So that was fun, not. Uh, right now, the question is, where is the traveling merchant? Because I know there is one. Hey buddy, what you got for me? Uh, oh, pretty much nothing. We've got a fez, although I'm pretty sure we've already got a fez, so that's not exactly useful. All right. Okay. Okay. Things are looking good, man. Things are looking good. I mean, we've got good wings. I know that a lot of you guys have been telling me to get that car key, which allows you to get that little UFO, which has endless flight, but I don't know if we'll actually need it. I mean, I know it's beneficial, but I don't know if we'll actually need it. So, I mean... I don't know, man. I'm genuinely, I genuinely haven't ever taken down the Moon Lord before, so today will be the first ever time. So you will have to bear with me and forgive me if things I do are a bit noobish, because you know, like I said, it's my first time. I mean, at one point it was your first time as well taking down the Moon Lord, so you'll have to remember that when it comes to you shouting at me in the comments area, like you have been. I have noticed it. So yes. <laughs> But anyways, guys, uh, I guess what I can do now is I'm going to go grab all of these potion ingredients out and I'm going to go ahead and see just what kind of things I can make with them. Look at all this stuff, man. We have ourselves iron skin potions. Yes, why not? In fact, no, I'm making it to the wrong area, aren't I? I need to go to the alchemy table so I can get more, get more stuff. So here we go. Let's go over here and let's do it. All right, so... Regen potions, why not? We've already got a bunch of them. We'll have one of them. Uh, magic? Are we going to use magic? I mean, I might as well. I might as well. I might as well. Invisibility, shine, night owl, gravitation, crate. Uh, none, of the th none of this other stuff is really useful, to be honest. I've already got most of the other stuff, so... Yeah. Uh, we'll have a few more of them. There we go. Bring it up to six, and we'll have some of them. Uh, right, okay, our buffs are looking good, man. Our buffs are looking pretty good. So what we need to do now is put away our potion ingredients. So let's just chuck them all in here, like you do. Oh, there's the arrows. I need them. There we go. I'm not entirely sure what weapon I'm going to be using yet. I'm thinking the solar eruption combined with the Xeno stuff, but I have no idea, man. I have no idea. So, I'll tell you what, while we're making our way over to the last pillar, the Stardust Pillar, which I believe is the Summoner Pillar, we are going to jump into the question of the video, which for today comes from a user by the name of Carlit ZX, and his question is, what is your least favorite Frost Moon mob? Ah, it took me all but half a second to think of an answer for that question, and it would have to be the Sand Tank slash Santa NK1. I'm pretty sure at one point, the Santa NK1 was actually called the Sand Tank, but I think they renamed it for some reason. I don't know, someone will have to... I'm pretty sure that was a thing. I'm pretty damn sure. At one point, it was called a sand tank, but I still call it a sand tank because it's what makes sense, I guess. It's a tank. It's Santa. Sand tank. <laughs> it just sounds cool, man. But yeah, sand tank. I mean, it's just a point of him being annoying, really. You know, his spiky balls and his flying presence attacks are probably by far and away the most annoying attacks he has. And not only that, but they do a lot of damage as well, so... That's a thing. So, yeah, that would have to be my least favorite Frost Moon mob. Uh, I mean, you don't even get any really good drops from him, do you? I mean, obviously, the Ice Queen drops, you know, the Blizzard Staff. You know, you got the Christmas Tree drops the Razor Pine. Both of them are very, very good. But in terms of Sand Tank, no, you don't really get a great deal. Chain Gun, not really useful. Elf Mounter, not really useful. But, yeah, I don't know. That's just my opinion. All right, guys. Here we are at the Stardust Pillar. I have no idea what to expect. We've got blue enemies. Ooh, this is interesting. Uh -oh. Oh! I am getting murked already. There appears to be a lot of guys around here. Okay, interesting. What the hell? There's like little minions on the ground. Oh, looks like those guys sort of give birth to them. Fascinating. Oh, hold on. We're outside of the thing now. We need to get back to it. Get back to it! These weird little things. They're almost like spiders. Hi! Ooh, floating balls. Interesting. Okay, we have to be careful of both the air and the ground. 
because it looks like there's people to pwn you wherever you go, pretty much. So, yeah, worms. It's out to be a worms. No one likes you. I'm pretty surprised that the mobs of the solar pillars don't drop money. I don't know why that's the case, but I don't know. It'll be nice if they did drop money. It'd be kind of awesome. All right. Oh, come on, buddy. Uh, we good. We good. Come on. I want to be able to kill a pillar without dying, like, at all. That would be awesome. We are still yet to have a deathless pillar. <laughs> so, I mean, if today could be that day, that'd be awesome. All right. These weird things. Weird things indeed. Oh, man. I've got to be honest. I'm not looking forward to the moon launch. I'm not looking forward to it. If we can defeat him first time, I'm going to be so incredibly surprised. But let's be honest. The chances of that happening are pretty damn remote. But the silver lining is... We'll have to go ahead and defeat all the pillars again. And what that means is I can actually make the other weapons that I weren't able to make. You know? So that's pretty cool. Hey, look. This guy's almost out. This uh, thing's almost dead. Cool. Oh, Come on, wormies. Go away. Okay. How's things looking? Uh, Ten seconds until health. We actually really need health. How's this looking? Bad. Come on, man. I could use buffs, but I really don't want to. And health. There we go. Things are looking a little bit better now. Come on. Stardust pillar's almost out. Oh, man. I might have to use it. Oh, man. Okay. I'm just going to fly around. I really, really don't want to use buffs. If I can avoid using buffs at all costs, then that would be awesome. Ooh. Okay. Careful. Things are looking hairy. We've got 16 health left. Oh no. I think we're about to fly directly into the pillar. Oh man, come on. I'm literally just flying around at this point. This is the only way I might actually be able to survive this. If I just fly around and see if I can... Oh! <laughs> Did you see that? Wow, that was like an explosion of everything. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty funny. But anyways, guys, I didn't pass on the question of the video to you guys. It's actually completely unrelated. It is, what is your favorite weapon that you can make from the solar pillars? Leave your responses in the comments area below. And of course, if you guys have any other question suggestions, put them in the comments area below and you'll have a chance of yours being used and your name shouted out. But yeah, like I said, I really didn't want to use buff potions there because I was almost certain I was going to die. So I thought that using buff potions would pretty much be a waste. So yeah. Oh, well, we've got a death on the card. Still haven't got a death on this pillar, unfortunately. But maybe eventually we might actually be able to do that. So, yeah, be kind of cool. All right, guys, let's get back to it. All right, guys, here we are back in the Stardust Pillar vicinity thing. All right, how's the shield looking? Is it down yet? It's not. It is almost down by the looks of it. I mean, the, the shield looks very sort of translucent, so... By that, I'm going to guess that it's got a low amount of... Oh, a low amount of defense left. Okay, 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 okay. There'll be a lot of peeps around here. This guy is the thing that keeps shooting rockets at me. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, he's called a flow invader. There we go. This guy's down there. All right. Okay, come on. We can do this thing. Should be easy. 7K, 6K, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And that's him done. Guys, impending doom approaches. Oh, achievement get seal at proof that I haven't taken down the moon lord yet. Oh, all right, here we go. Oh man, I'm not looking forward to this at all. All right, if I'm very, very quick, I might actually be able to make a weapon really quick. Uh, right, what can we make? Uh, cell staff, dragon staff, dragon staff. That's the thing that everybody keeps having, isn't it? Oh man, I feel like the background's gone all sort of fuzzy. Guys, the moon lord's coming in. Oh, boy. All right. Bit of this. All right. You go around. In fact, you know what? We're going to have one dragon and one Xeno, dude. Oh, man. My heart is pumping so much right now. It is getting dark, folks. Oh, my God. I'm not looking forward to this at all. We're going to use the solar eruptions to start out with. But if that doesn't do the job, then I don't know what will. Well, I mean, obviously, we've got all this other stuff we could try using. <laughs> All right, heart, calm down, and buff. Oh my god! 
What the hell? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Okay. Um, there we go. Avoid the lasers. There we go. That was done pretty nicely. And health. Okay. Not bad, not bad, not bad. We're doing reasonable. What if I pretty much stay here? Right, there's one other thing I know, and that's the fact that what you've got to do is try and take down all three of the things at the same time. Right, we've got to leg it. Oh man, this is going to be difficult. I might actually have to- oh my god. Oh my lord. Oh god. Oh, that's almost our death, folks! That's almost our death! Ah! Present tense! It will be our death! He's got 10,000 health on one of his hands. Oh, man! Oh, man! Wow. Okay, um... Yeah. Ah, well, uh, I don't know what to say to that other than, uh... What the fudge? <laughs> oh, man, what the hell? Okay. Right. Oh, right. Laser attack. We need to do a better job of avoiding that because we succumbed to that twice. Um, and uh, I think one thing I've realized by this point is the fact that this arena is absolutely nowhere near big enough. Like, not even halfway up to being big enough to uh, deal with the Moon Lord. Right. Well, uh, uh, vampire knives. The, the reason why I've not been using the vampire knives, yes, it's good for regen, but in terms of damage, it is terrible. It really is terrible. Look at that. 41 melee damage in comparison to 165. This does quadruple damage compared to the vampire knives. That is why I've not been using it. But maybe, to be honest, I should have been. I don't know. That would have been maybe a reasonable idea. But that's the reason why I haven't been using it in other things. So, yeah. Right, uh, how's our Luna stuff chest looking? I don't know. Uh, we could potentially make something else. If we grab all of these out, I might be able to convert the souls into whatever and make something else. Right, Nebula Fragment. Which one was the Ranger one? Nebula was mage. Stardust is, uh, Stardust is whatever it is. What is it? It's summoner. Solar is melee and vortex is ranged. A lot of you guys were telling me to make the gun the vortex beater, but I don't know if that's a good idea, honestly. I mean, we'll give it a go because that's what you guys suggested. So here we go. So we need 12 of these. Boom. And you guys were telling me to make a vortex beater. Okay. Uh, the catastrophic mixture of pew pew and boom boom. I mean, here we go. We've got a deadly one. Is it? What did it do? Wow. That is, uh, that's pretty crazy. That's pretty, that's pretty awesome, man. <laughs> well, the bad news is it's now wiped us out of souls, but the good news is we can go defeat the cultists again. But, what I'm actually going to do is do some farming off camera of the Martian Madness event. In fact, do you know what? No, that's not what we're going to do. What we're going to do in the next episode, we are going to do the Martian Madness event a couple of times to start off with, and then we're going to go defeat the cultists and then uh, take down some of the pillars to see if we can make anything else from the uh, from the souls or whatever they are, the fragments. So, yeah, we're going to end it for today, my friends. Obviously, like I said, it was my first Moon Lord fight, so don't be all mad at me because I know that's what a lot of you guys have been doing. And while I appreciate you giving me tips, I don't appreciate people shouting at me because, you know, that's not really why I play games to get shouted at. So, yeah, like I said, that was my first ever time. And at some point in the past, it was your guys' first time to defeat the Moon Lord as well. So... Yeah. But anyways, guys, we are going to be wrapping up the episode for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, and of course you're excited to see more, be sure to drop a like right my friends. And of course you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are at. But thanks for watching, guys. My name is Python, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.